Welcome back to our Empires of the Undergrowth story mode playthrough. This episode is a bit of a departure. Instead of playing through a level, we look at our new home and then the swamp in which the next story mode level takes place. The environment Slug Disco has created for this game are so wonderful, it only makes sense to slow down for a moment to really appreciate them before diving into the high stress nature of an objective oriented story level. This episode is broken into chapters so that you can easily jump to the content most interesting to you. Thank you again for your viewership. Welcome back to the Dee's Ants Formicarium. So now that we're back, we are gonna do this rehouse the colony. I, this may just be simply rehouse the colony. And we did actually, as just as a, as a reminder, let me go here. We did actually get all of the third Formicarium challenge, the possibly the final experiment achievements. That is completely untrue with the rest of these things. I haven't gotten most of them. But anyway, let's do this next rehome. A rehouse. This tank is not suitable for the upcoming test. It is time to rehouse the colony. You will be awarded an amount of jelly during the switch based on colony size, construction, store resources, and territory. Rehouse the colony. Short sighted, simple, churlish fools. They don't understand. None of them understand. The experiment must proceed. There isn't much time. Quickly, my Rutas, into the terrarium. You'll be safe here. 130 minutes, so a little over two hours in the second formicarium. Yeah, okay, here we go. Let's rehouse the colony. We got 826 jelly. Is it done? Yes, yes. Look, gone. I see. Well, good. It's about time. Anyway, I'm going to need you to make yourself available this afternoon. Apparently, a large quantity of unrefined jelly has gone missing from the overflow vessel. And Supply wants to speak with the whole group about proper checkout procedures. You wouldn't happen to know anything about it, would you? What? No! What would I want with unrefined jelly? Well, quite. What would I want indeed? <laughs> this story mode is pretty silly. Um, but that's okay. Silly is okay. Let's see what this notification says. Your queen and a few workers have been moved into a new terrarium, ready for the next experiment. All territory, construction, and food have been lost, but you have been awarded jelly based on your prior colony size and resources. Okay, so now we have 1,214 jelly. Let's, and of course we, we keep the upgrades that we had. Ooh, and we're going to get a new ant, a fire ant. Wow. Uh, Solenopsis Invicta is inexpensive and attacks both with its jaws and stinger, but it's not inexpensive in jelly. 500 jelly, that's crazy. We got another notification. You've gained access to two more levels and a new Formicarium challenge. In these, you play as the invasive fire ants. Formicarium challenge three can no longer be repeated. That's okay, that is the one we completely demolished. Uh, so, why don't we send one of our friends up outside yeah, we're going to excavate to outside just to see what it's like. Okay, so here we are. Let's take a look around. Oh, this is kind of... Oh, look at this. Wow. Oh, yeah. It's round, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's... As th are these the plant types? Estenellum... There's a shovel here. What's that say? S. Fuscum. Are these colonies? This is our colony. No. These are the plants. These must be the plants. Yeah. What oh, neat. Let's see. Oh, and then there's uh, some paper on the desk. And then there's another, some sort of planter thing here. I like how the camera goes up and down. Some beakers, some sort. More plant, it looks like we're gonna get connected to these things at some point. There is a mug with a funny looking karmic spider on there. What else can we see? This is a ridiculous tour. I know, I don't know how many of you are interested in this, but I like looking around, I think it's ridiculous. I like, I also like to see the details that developers put into these things. Empires of the Undergrowth, John K. Connor. Oh, I wonder if these are the developers. I haven't looked. Okay, here's another flask of some sort. Um, yeah, this 
There's something over there. Okay, and then I think we looked around the whole terrarium. Let's see what's down here. Maybe I missed something. Nope. Oh, okay. We can't see what that sign says at this angle. Okay, cool. Cool, very neat. All right, let's... Uh, uh, well, I'm not going to do anything with with our former carium because I don't necessarily want to build it out yet for no purpose. I like the idea of a round one. And I wonder what all this... Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. I like the idea of a round one. Okay, so... You know what? Let's try something, though. Let's try... See this stuff here? Let's see if we can send an ant over here. Nope. So I was right-clicking it. I was making that funny noise. That was the sound of me trying to get in there, but we can't get in there. So, okay. Let's go... Whoops. Let's go back down. Uh, let's go to our queen. She's right here. Hello, queen. How are you? We are going to try Hold Blood 4.1. Carving out an existence at the edge of the of a swamp will not be easy for this fire ant colony. Okay, let's give it a shot. Oh, you can see the stingers on them. Cool. Okay, we've got Pervasive. Ants will become free to hatch if the egg has been on the tile for a short period of time before hatching. At level 3, the tile can support two ants. Whoa, that's cool. I don't, at this part I get with the after ants will become free to hatch. Oh, if it's been sitting there long enough, it won't take any food to hatch it. Hey, that's pretty neat in an emergency situation. Wow, look at that bug. Oh my god, look at that bug. Vigorous. Upon hatching, the ant briefly receives an attack damage, speed, and resistance buff. At level 3, the tile can support two ants. So, in both cases, we can support two ants on a tile. This one is basically an emergency situation. We get free hatching. And in uh, this situation, essentially an emergency situation, like the colony is under attack, we our, our friends that hatch will be buffer. I'm going to try pervasive because my challenges have often been I've run out of food and I can't, ha can't hatch anymore. So this would give us some free units. Okay, here we go. Old blood. This Solenopsis Invicta Fire Ant Queen has landed on the edge of a swamp. She may be far from her native habitat, but the Fire Ants are well known for their ability to adapt. Competition for food will be fierce. She will need to raise an army quickly to compete with the local predators. The Fire Ant soldiers will bite opponents causing physical damage. However, they will also periodically use their stinger, which deals much higher venom damage. Most of their damage comes from the stinger. Pervasive fire ants will become free to hatch if the egg has been on the tile for a short period of time before hatching. Refrain from attacking enemies until most of your tiles are glowing, indicating the hatching has become free. The slow larva of the checkered beetle has higher health and damage than many other small creatures. Interesting. The big-headed ant soldiers will hold their own, but don't pose too much of a threat. However, if the colony feels threatened, they may begin producing a more dangerous cast. Ooh, interesting. Fire ants can form pontoons, floating bridges across water, allowing them to reach otherwise inaccessible islands and areas. Placing a marker down in these areas will cause a bridge to form. The water must be the same height as the desired location. That is super cool. There must be enough ants in the group to complete the pontoon, then others can cross it. If the water changes height, ants that are part of a pontoon will fall or drown. If changes in water height cuts ants off from the colony, they will panic and quickly die. Oh, hmm. Though relatively weak in attack and defense, the bombardier beetle more than makes up for this with its boiling liquid spray. Dealing very high damage in a large area, the attack, the attack will take a long time to recharge, making it vulnerable between discharges. The colony lies in the shadow of a great titan to the north. An American oh, bullfrog. No oh, this wow. large female has found the perfect spot to feed. Sheltered by foliage and Look in the path that. of many wandering insects and smaller amphibians, she has no reason to move on. Eventually, oh. she will need to be displaced. But for now, the fire ants have more pressing business to attend to. Um, I have no more pressing business than looking at this bullfrog. This is so cool. I can't even handle it. I can't even handle it. You know, how do I screenshot on this thing? Oh my god. So cool. And look, these look like Venus flytraps to me. This is super neat. Okay, well, we're just going to burn some time here looking around. Look at this wood. We can apparently look, we can apparently use this as food. Here's a cool spider and a beetle. 
Wow, the this is so soil neat. surrounding the nest is lacking in nitrogen and phosphorus, nutrients vital for plants to photosynthesize and grow. To survive in this environment, some have evolved to supplement their mineral diet by trapping and dissolving invertebrate prey. Uh huh. That's the fly traps that I saw, I guess, right? Look at this. Is this a pitcher plant? That looks like a pitcher plant. Nice. Yes, these are pitcher plants, and these are fly traps. Wait, where's our frog? Yeah, there's our frog. Okay, this fly trap is closed, but these are open. I, I don't see. The, yeah, these are pitcher plants. I think we can try and get food out of these. Here's another colony. Right, that's not our colony. Oh yeah, no, no, it's because we're yellow. Okay, so here's a colony. Here's another one, the red colony. And then down here is the blue colony. Oh, and they are coming out here. Let's watch them for a minute. Look at these. Are these... What are these? They look like little... What the... What are those? Are those ants carrying something? I guess they're carrying food. Oh, there's a beetle. Oh, is that beetle? Oh, look at that beetle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's watch this beetle for a second. Yeah, a small fine. colony of Fadele Morisi big headed ants have established themselves on a hill to the west. What? Scavenging for seeds, aphids, oh. and dead insects, they are unlikely to pose a threat to the Invicta colony if left undisturbed. Oh, no, this is. Okay, which one is our colony then if this is not them? Are we the blue? No, because we just saw guys coming out. Are we the red? Let's find out. Oh, red for fire? I don't know. Let's find out. We'll just. Yes. Yes, we are. Okay, very cool. Hold on, I'm not done looking around. That was awesome. This is so cool. What a cool area. There's a spider, pitcher plant. Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. That spider is hanging out on the pitcher plant. That's like a double death thing. And what's this? Is there something coming out of here? Hiding? Oh, this is so cool. I can't even handle it. I can't even handle it. Something's dying over here. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, those ants took out that beetle. What's going down the river here? Oh, look at that! Oh! Look at that! We got a toad arrival. Maybe it's gonna come into our nest. I don't know. I mean, I'm clearly gonna restart this, but... I mean, honestly, this is so cool, I'm completely distracted. Oh, they're fighting each other? No, they're taking out these ants. Okay, we're gonna follow this guy. Oh my god. What? 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 Amphibian attacks will increase in intensity as time goes on. Work quickly and don't let your let down your guard. Victory may not be as simple as it seems. Well, a victory is going to be very tough for us because um, I'm not even playing right now. I'm just looking around. The eastern narrowmouth toad will eat ants with its tongue, each one adding to the duration of a healing effect. Additionally, it can scoop multiple ants into its mouth at once. At night, is... eastern narrowmouthed toads patrol above ground looking for food. Okay. Ants okay. make up 75% of their diet, so the small colony must stay alert. To make Look matters worse, swimming. they are excellent diggers. It's only a matter of time before one tunnels its way into the nest. So cool. Okay, hold on. What? Is that a toad hole? It's digging its way out. It's digging into our... It's digging into our... Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Okay, can we go up here and see it? So this is maybe the way it, it goes in? Since we're in basically the same area? Oh my gosh. So cool. Okay, well, let's keep looking around. I'm not expecting... 
to actually win or really even play very much. I'm just, as you can see, looking around. There's that bullfrog. So we're going to make a bunch of our friends. And we're going to need to find some more food. So why don't we send group one... Well, that bullfrog is on its way over here. So there he is. Look at him. Look, at he's coming this way. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, hold on. Everybody over here. Let's see. Toad! Toad! Toad the attack! The a toad has burrowed into the nest. It may be small for a toad, but its appetite for ants is insatiable. Secretions from its skin burn any that manage to escape its projectile tongue. Yeah, we are not even damaging it. The colony is starving. Yeah. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Right, right. He's going to come for our queen. Why don't you take these guys? Come on. These worms are tasty looking. Aren't they tasty looking? Oh, did he kill those? Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, there's another one. Oh boy. That is so cool. In case you couldn't tell, I was bowled over by the swamp. What a great setting. Please return tomorrow when we attempt level 4.1 Cold Blood. In the meantime, please remember to spay or neuter your pets.